Hello guys, welcome back. My name is in fact Nathan, and over the last couple of weeks I've been learning to cope with the fact that the Dallas Stars will never truly give me what I want in terms of returning jerseys. And it's been a tough road, trust me. So for therapeutic reasons, I'm going to go for the 10 jerseys that I want to see return to the National Hockey League. So, what are the top 10 jerseys that I want to see return in the NHL, and how likely are these jerseys to come back in the next few seasons? Watch till the end for the entire top 10 and the full list, and of course, hit that big red subscribe button. We're close now to 26k, so every bit helps, and every bit is appreciated. Now, as I said before, the Dallas Stars continuously let us down. They go from great winter classic jersey to why to my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. And for the first jersey that needs to come back, it's just obvious. It's the, it's the Dallas Stars jersey that they won the cup in 1999. That's all they need to do. I mean, that's all they need to do. The first jersey on the list, it, it had to be done. I have it right here. I mean, it's it, it's just so easy. You could bring it into Adidas. You could have the white collar there, have the black on the outline, and and that's all you need. That's all you need. I got my boy Darren Hatcher on the back. I mean, like th this just prints money. I don't I don't care what they were trying to go for the, with the reverse retro. They're trying to be inventive and trying to be crazy, new, and and unique and quirky. But like, are do you do you not like money? Like, do you not like money? Because personally, I I think the Dallas Stars would like money and. If you made this an Adidas, I mean, you would get money. So I, I don't know what the disconnect is here. I don't know what's the problem. Just bring this back. It, it literally prints money. It literally is the, <laughs> just the most brain dead move you can make. It doesn't require any brain power. Just do that right there and you're done. You're, you're, you're done. You have automatic money and you're good. That's all it needs. <laughs> just make that an Adidas. I'll be happy. We'll all be happy. And the earth will finally be restored to its good state. So that, that's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. World peace and that jersey to come back. So you get my gist. Now we can go into the next jersey that I want to see come back. Now we're getting into the serious ones. We're going to go to the purple Mighty Ducks jersey. And this is also on the obvious side of things. This one, I mean, just like the Dallas Stars, it seems like the Anaheim Ducks really just don't want this exact jersey to come back. I'm wearing their third jersey from 2019, which I think is one of the best jerseys of all time. Honestly, I might prefer it over the purple one, but the thing still, the, the, the point still stands. This jersey needs to come back. I'm a huge fan of purple. It's one of the most iconic jerseys of all time, but we still haven't seen that jersey come back in that form. We saw the Wild Wing come back in the reverse retros. We saw the orange version of this come back. We saw, of course, this jersey. But just bring it back as simple as it gets in Adidas. That, just like the Dallas Stars Cup winning jersey, will automatically print money. But so much more because it's the original Purple Mighty Ducks jersey. A ton of people want to get their hands on it, especially jersey collectors too. I will probably have to buy it if it comes out. But it's just an absolute masterpiece. It's as good as it gets, especially when it comes to purple NHL jerseys. And I have no idea why the heck the Anaheim Ducks are, again, just like the Dallas Stars, saying no to money. Doesn't really make sense in my, in this economy. So, I don't know. I, I think the Maya Ducks should just go back to the Maya Ducks and call it a day. Even as, if it's just a third jersey, which I would rather have that as their home jersey and their away jersey. But... I mean, I'm just asking for a third. I'm just asking for a third. No more orange. Just give me back to the purple and the teal. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Now, going on to my number three jersey and the third jersey that I need to see come back. I mean, I think we can all agree on this, that being the Minnesota North Stars. Now, the thing is here, the Minnesota Wild have went back to the kind of white design a little bit. But they have the Minnesota Wild logo on there, which I think is all right. But I just want to see that green jersey come back with the white shoulders, the designs in the bottom and the sleeves. It's it's just it's just a perfect jersey. And even if the Minnesota Wild don't go back to that logo, I wish they would go with their M uh, secondary logo that they have. They have on the shoulders of their home jerseys and have that on the front. That would be absolutely magnificent. And I think that would be a great homage to the North Stars while also still kind of having that Minnesota Wild flair where it doesn't bring down the jersey in any way either. Obviously, I'd like to have that still the same North Stars design there, which was still the same logo. But if it's that Minnesota Wild logo with the M and it's the same design but an Adidas, I think it would look absolutely sharp. And here's the thing. 
I mean, the Minnesota Wild could go home and away as they have right now, but they could have the away North Stars and the home North Stars jerseys, the green and the away as well, and just alternate before, between those four jerseys. That would be excellent. And honestly, the Minnesota Wild at that point would have one of the better jersey kits in the entire NHL. So for me, it's an absolute slam dunk for Minnesota to have the away jersey and then introduce the green jersey later. Hopefully we see that outside of the reverse retro line. Maybe we see it in 2021, but I'm hoping at some point we see that green jersey return because it absolutely needs to happen. I'm going to go now to the fourth jersey that I need to see return, and it might just be me because I know there's a lot of Red Wings fans that don't like this jersey, but to me it's easily Detroit's best jersey and one of the best jerseys of all time. That being the Detroit Red Wings 2016 Stadium Series jersey. Now, you guys know I will not shut up about this jersey. I love it to absolute depth. And this thing, to me, would look so clean in Adidas with that D logo, with the collar. I think has so much potential there. And I love what the Detroit Red Wings did with the white gloves and the pants and how it just blended all together. It was an absolutely clean look, and it was so sad that we only saw it for that Stadium Series. I think it has so much potential in adidas maybe you change a couple of things with the letters because it could be a lot smaller maybe but the point still stands give me that jersey back give me that red wings jersey back and give me something other than that home and away and that plain as all heck gray jersey that they're going with this could bring some much needed flair to that jersey history for detroit and bringing that jersey back would be absolutely fantastic I'm now going to go to the next jersey I want to see come back. I think we're at number five now, and I have the Buffalo Sabres goat head red jersey. I mean, this one also is a pretty obvious one. I think they could stand to make some changes to the sleeves, especially. They could have the black coming down. You could have that big red goat head. Maybe you just have the whites, the silver, and the red stripes just as like a normal uh, jersey striping just on the sleeves. That could be all they need. I don't think they need to go as flamboyant as the original jersey was, but it's still an amazing jersey. I, I, I have so many memories of Dominic Kashuk in this one, even as a Dallas Stars fan. This jersey is absolutely amazing. But even the white one, I, I do like quite a bit in terms of white jerseys. It's definitely up there, but that logo needs to come back. It's an absolute beaut. And just those colors, I mean, that red, that white looks so good on that black jersey. And I think even if you simplify the stripes, it would look just clean as all heck and would definitely be uh, already is one of Buffalo's better jerseys in their history but with that home and away would look sick too and the other thing is Buffalo's had a lot of jerseys they've introduced outside their home and away that have been white jerseys so I desperately want to see them go back to a black or just just a darker jersey for a third or an alternate and this will be absolutely perfect again sad to see that they didn't go with that in their reverse retros now going on to my number six choice, the six jerseys that I need to see come back. And this one will probably be one of the more controversial ones on this list. But to me, this is the Nashville Predators' best jersey, and it's not even a competition. That being the Nashville Predators' checkerboard jersey. This is one of the most rare jerseys of all time. It was a third jersey for like a couple of years for Nashville, but they barely wore it. To me, this is Nashville's best jersey, though. I really like that black and the checkerboard pattern on the bottom of the stripes. You can't really see it in this picture, but... Uh, it was there and it was sick. And I just love how the white accents, especially on the sleeves, look when uh, when you're on a player like Shea Weber. It looks fantastic. And to me, especially compared to what they're going with now, I think the reverse retros might just be their best jersey uh, besides this. But this jersey, especially in Adidas, has a lot of potential with that checkerboard design. And especially with that logo, I think could use some revamping. I think this jersey has a lot of potential in Adidas, though, and as a third jersey would be terrific. I mean, this would definitely be, in my opinion, the best National Predators jersey Adidas-wise, and I think in their jersey history might be the best as well. Hoping to see it come back and for Nashville to get back to their senses, baby. They went back to that old logo on the reverse retro jersey, so uh, we'll see what happens. Then going on to my seventh jersey that I need to see come back in the NHL, and I think a lot of us can agree on that, too. It is the Fisherman jersey. Now, the thing is here, I don't love this jersey, but the New York Islanders need to bring this one back. And I, I must 
preface this by saying that as long as Lou Lamorello is the president there, it is not happening. But I think there could be a compromise there in the future. Maybe you have that just normal New York Islanders logo in the middle like they had before, but I, that, still that wavy design is absolutely magnificent. I love the colors on this jersey. And obviously back when it was introduced, it was pegged as one of the worst jerseys of all time. To me, it's creative in all the right ways with the striping, with the colors. It just pops. And I feel, especially in Adidas, they could really do some amazing things with it. And again, you don't even have to have the Fisherman logo there to make it a good jersey. I think if they just put the New York Islanders logo on there, it would look fantastic too. And especially as just like a third jersey that they wear a couple of times a year, it would just be refreshing to see that jersey back in the NHL and back in Adidas. Then going on to the next jersey I want to see return, I think we're at number eight now. This one coming from the New York Rangers, and this one, in my opinion, is the most underrated jersey in the New York Rangers history. That being Winter Classic design from 2018. And when I saw this jersey revealed, I was absolutely in love with it. To me, this does a lot for the team uh, with that design. It's obviously a lot like the home jersey, but you have the stripes inverted, you have that navy blue right there, and you have the different font of Rangers coming down. I could probably do without that New York watermark and probably just have that for the assistant captains and the actual captain himself. We'll see if they actually have a captain. But to me, this jersey is absolutely sick. One of the better Adidas jerseys we've seen just in general. And to me, this is probably, besides the Liberty jersey, my favorite jersey in New York Rangers history. So I love it a ton. I'm hoping it comes back eventually. I'm not sure if we'll see it for a while because it looks like they do want to go back to the Liberty designs as a third jersey for a while, which is fantastic. But I'm hoping to see this jersey return at some point because... It's just an absolute beaut, but it is the most current jersey I have on this list, so we might not see it for a little while at that point. But going to my ninth jersey that I want to see return, this one as well is an absolute beaut, and I'm so, I'm so happy the LA Kings went back to the purple and yellow in the reverse retros, but this jersey needs to come back as a third or an alternate or whatever. That being the purple, the black, the crown jersey, this thing is, in my opinion, Honestly, I love the purple and yellow, but this might be LA's best jersey ever. To me, it ticks all the boxes. I have it with Dustin Brown with the C on the shoulder, or on, not on the shoulder, on the sleeve. On the sleeve, well, I can't even talk, on the chest. <laughs> but to me, this thing absolutely looks fantastic in game. Uh, and with that crown logo, it absolutely pops. I love the purple accents. It is mostly still a black jersey, but with the purple shoulders and the purple sleeve, it really, really does a lot for me. And again, I'm a big fan of purple, as you've probably seen throughout this video, but to me, it looks fantastic here. And they've all, always had that purple design in the LA Kings before the home and aways now. I, I just feel like with this design, it brings basically all, everything good about LA's jersey history, the crown logo, the purple that they've had, the, even the black they've had, all into one. I can maybe do without that Los Angeles wormwork on the bottom and maybe have like a purple stripe with a couple of uh, maybe white accents there. But the silver, the black, the purple, it all pops. And even if this isn't their home jersey full time, just seeing it as a third, especially when Adidas with that crown logo, which could look amazing with that Adidas wordmark uh, or Adidas logos, I think it could be fantastic, and definitely for LA would be the decision I make to bring back with that reverse retro, of course, as well. But then going to the 10th jersey that I need to see come back, and again, this is one on the more controversial side because this is a jersey that I feel you either hate or love, um, but for me, it's one of my favorite jerseys of all time. I have a youth jersey, I have a youth version of this jersey. It doesn't look nearly as good, which is why I want to see it come back so I can buy it. That being the Pittsburgh Penguins 2008 Winter Classic. Beautiful jersey, man. I'm a sucker for baby blue. I'm an absolute sucker for baby blue. And I remember when I was first getting into hockey and I saw a picture of this jersey um, years later. I was like, how the heck was this jersey made? I want it so badly. And I ended up getting a youth jersey of it, uh, which I thought was a men's jersey. It's a long story. Uh, <laughs> I thought lids freaking scanned me, but um, they did not. I, I ordered a youth jersey, which was not a great decision on my part. It was 50 bucks. Yikes. But the thing still stands. I mean, I, I love this jersey to pieces. I'm one of the few people that actually like that logo, especially how it looks at that baby blue. I like how it's just a big circle and it just it just overpowers you. I love those white shoulders. I love this the design with the sleeves on the bottom of the jersey, on the waist, on the sleeves. It just looks so good. That baby blue is so perfect. And I'm so sad that we haven't seen it since 2008. This is a jersey that absolutely needs to come back. And 
again, it would probably wouldn't be anything more than the third jersey or, or something to just have a few games a year, but that's all I'm asking for. Give me this thing in Adidas. It would look so unbelievably sick, and uh, if I had the money, I'd absolutely buy it. That's a big if, but if I did, this thing is automatically going in the collection. It needs to happen. This thing is way too beautiful for me to not have it. Actually, I have my U version right here. I got Sidney Crosby on the back. I paid 50 bucks for this on lids. Because I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was a men's jersey. I'm like, whoa, this jersey that's super rare, 50 bucks with Crosby on the back. I, I knew nothing about jerseys at that point. Didn't know I was getting a U. It fit me for a while. Uh, now it definitely does not. So it's kind of just uh, collecting dust. But it's still an absolute beauty. This thing absolutely needs to get back. Penguins, make up your freaking mind. Give us what I want. I don't know if you guys want it, but I need it. I need it right now. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know down in the comments down below, though. What jersey do you want to see come back in the NHL? What jersey do you need to see come back? And make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for more jersey content just like this one. Make sure you share this video with your friends, get it out there, and click on this card for all of my NHL jersey content right on one playlist. My name is Nathan. I need to see these jerseys come back or else. And I'll see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.